talk to me. Huh? Let me talk to you a minute. A couple of guys we know, they were Lebanese or some shit. They diverted a truck, a whole semi-trailer full of central multivitamins. Oh, that's a fucking score. Yeah, the thing is it's got to be unloaded out of state because the troopers are on it. You interested? Could be distributed in uh, Long Island. It's my end. 50-50. What's got to be done now, tonight? Tonight. All right. But in this case, I'm thinking we spared John the stress of having to hear about this. Well, the situation he's in, he's got enough to deal with. Get me Frankie Cosme on the cell. Tidelands Project. Your slice of no-shows? I spoke to the union. We can't make five work no more. Rollbacks. Not to mention, my end's way down. Now more than ever, I got captains looking at me to deliver them those no-show jobs on account of the medical insurance. Healthcare costs these days. Bitch all you want about John. He understood that I was a mutually beneficial arrangement. John's folding laundry in fucking Danbury. It's on my shoulders to take care of the family. Even if he's boss just in name. Now, I made a decision, and with all due respect, it's final. You see, this is what I get. I never should have let you slide on the vitamins. Again, with the vitamins. You told me there were 1,500 cases of centrums on that truck. When your nephew delivered it, there were cartons ripped open, pills all over the fucking floor. Anybody got shorted, it was yours truly. But you know what? All right, all right, all right. Put it back in your pocket. But I got to get some relief on this other situation. Vito. He was found beat to death this morning in a motel in Fort Lee. My cop up there told me. Mink. Plus, the homicide detectives told him Vito had a pool cue rammed up his ass. Lovers quarrel, maybe. Look, we all know who did it. Phil, fucking balls on that prick. What I always say about him. You know what this is, right? It's not about Vito, it's about me. Phil's saying he can do whatever the fuck he wants, including kill a captain in my own family, and I can't do a fucking thing about it. It's always been partly about that. Believe me, the vitamins are just the beginning. People don't expect a response. See, this is what the fuck I was talking about. We hit one of Phil's guys. Joe Bananas went after Carlo Gambino. Made guys got killed, the war went seven years. How many times I gotta say this? When guys are on a mattresses, they're not out earning. So? What? What Phil cares about is fucking money. He's got that wire room in Sheepshead Bay, right? Our guys have seen it. Yeah. I need to get straight between us. <laughs> Seriously, you look beautiful today. Yeah, it's done. Listen. Gee, sounds like a real weenie roast. Hey, your friend the Shaw was walking in when it happened. Him and some skifuza got blown back on their keisters. <laughs> As you know, Phil asked me to arrange this meeting after the fire in his wire room. Correction. You asked me to fucking attend. I agreed. Fair enough. Now, I won't call it a sit-down because of the inclement negative implications. Let's think of it as a meeting of minds. Now, for whatever reason, certain incidents have expired lately that, in addition to being dangerous, could have an adverse impact on our respective bottom lines. I know Vito's bottom was impacted, if that's what you're referring to. 
Call him what you will, but you're talking about one of my captains. Captain? The good ship Lollipop, right? Phil, please. Please, my ass. The man was a fucking disgrace. But before he came out of the closet, he worked for me. And he put a lot of money in my pocket. And yours, too. Talk about Ernest. How about Fat Dom Gamiello? What about him? He's MIA. A lot of people are concerned for his well-being. So what the fuck would I know about that? Well, as coincidence would have it, he was last seen in New Jersey. So was the Hindenburg. Maybe you want to look into that, too. Tony, please, Phil. We're getting off point. I grew up in this, guys. And I just lost my friend Rusty. And for reasons I will discern in time, believe me, there's one thing my father taught me, it's this. A pint of blood costs more than a gallon of gold. My business, all of our businesses, this infighting's costing money. I'm willing to move forward. Let the past be bygones. Fine with me. A wise decision on both your parts. Now, what I'd love to see is a truce. Wipe the slate clean. The no-shows, the wire room, veto, put it all behind us. Your brother Billy, whatever happened there. All right, then. Whatever nah. happened there? The shooting. Whatever happened there? God rest his soul, man. I'll tell you what fucking happened. This piece of shit's cousin Calm put down, six Phil. bullets in the kid without any provocation whatsoever. My cousin's dead. Fuck you. Phil. Hey, we were making headway here. I didn't mean to Fuck say... Fuck what you meant, cocksucker. Come on. Jesus Christ, Carmine, what the fuck? Why would you possibly bring that up? 